And listen ye all to a tale that's true When the war of the roses tore England in two King Richard the Third, one fateful day Fought Henry Tudor in a brutal way For poor King Richard life grew worse He lost his kingdom for want of a horse Henry the Seventh was then made king To Elizabeth of York he offered his ring She said, I do, let's give it a fling This union again made England one The couple was blessed with a healthy son Young Henry grew up, the castle is home When his father passed on, he ascended the throne Henry VIII took a wife from Spain Catherine Aragon was her name She bore him a daughter of you than one But to keep the throne, he needed a son Back then, that's how things were done For girls, it really wasn't much fun The rocky marriage couldn't get worse But the Pope refused to grant a divorce So Henry started a church of his own He got his divorce and stayed on the throne Then Henry VIII went Anne Boleyn His former wife, his handmaiden Anne gave birth to Elizabeth But with no Melchian Well, you do the math for Anne Boleyn, she lost her head, so once again King Henry wed. Jane Seymour gave to him a prince. But poor old Jane hasn't woken up since. So for a while our Henry grieves, then he marries Anne of Cleves. And came from fine German stock, she had a face that could stop a clock. Then marriage was cancelled in less than a year, his fifth wife Catherine Howard was dear. But Henry found out that her love was not true. He gave her the axe, what's a fella to do? So after five came wife number six, Catherine Paris, who Henry picks. He promised that he would do her no harm, so six wives proved to be the charm. And now, Hysteria presents a dramatic interactive reenactment of Order to Wives 1 through 6. At this time, please increase the volume control on your television set to its maximum level. Thank you. And now, our dramatic reenactment of... Divorce, beheaded, died! Divorce, beheaded, survived! Divorce, beheaded, died! Divorce, beheaded, survived! Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, back to our song. In 1547, Henry VIII went off to heaven. Or maybe for his dirty tricks to H E double August sticks. His young son Edward was only ten when he took the English throne, but then poor Edward died by age fifteen. His reign was followed by a queen. Jane Grey ruled for just nine days. She lost her head, to coin a phrase. Mary Tudor was next in line. The British throne is mine, mine, mine. Mary had strength, she took no flack. She brought the Catholic Church right back. At 42, Mary met her death, and along with Queen Elizabeth. She was loved by her people and made England strong. She had a few boyfriends, they didn't last long. Elizabethan age was just and fair, but Elizabeth never gave birth to an heir. And so we sing our last refrain The end finally came to the Tudor's reign Elizabeth died in 1603 The end of the Tudor's family tree The end of the Tudor's There could be no disputers The end of the Tudor's family tree for another edition of Meanwhile in History. Well, sounds like the Tudors were a royal pain. But that's not all that happened during the years they reigned. So let's review. 